Good morning. Uh, my name is Caroline Tinsley, and I'm an application scientist at Purolite. Today, I'm going to tell you about how you can reduce your costs during monoclonal antibody purification using our agrose resins. So, first, let me tell you a little bit about Purolite. We are a global company, and in fact, the world's second largest supplier of iron exchange resins that are used for diverse applications such as removal of harmful contaminants, purifying water at nuclear power plants, sugar refining, or even simple and simple as improving the taste of fruit juices. We have sales offices around the world and three global manufacturing sites in the US, Asia, and Europe, as well as five global R&D sites. And importantly to know, we are privately held, which means that we can react quickly to the marketplace and to customer requests. Pure Life Sciences customers benefit from our 35 years of heritage, knowledge, customer focus, and expertise in the resin industry, coupled with our proven quality, manufacturing, and regulatory experience. We are a family of engineers and scientists dedicated to listening to the challenges our customers face. Through innovative R&D, we meet the needs of tomorrow before they arrive. We have a 25-year track record of regulatory experience from our state-of-the-art FDA-inspected plant, and we are continually exceeding quality and consistency, and consistency is the cornerstone of all of our activities. Through forward-thinking investments, we are committed to exceeding demands for outstanding quality and reliability for the biologics industry. So using all of this knowledge in recent years, we have built up the life sciences branch of Purolites. So the Purolite life sciences aim is to help the pharmaceutical organizations to achieve their goals in the quickest, most economical and reliable way possible. In order to achieve this, uh, let me introduce our high flow agros resins, which we call Presto. These help to eliminate bottlenecks, maximize process and cost efficiencies that improves affordability and accessibility of therapeutic treatments. The data I'm going to show you here today will show you how you can address dual sourcing and enable alternative supply and significantly lower the cost of development of early phase clinical trials with protein A switching. So as we all know, one of the greatest challenges faced by pharma is that clinical trials are highly cost inefficient and time is of an essence. As new approval rates for novel therapies is low, pharma tends to lower R&D costs and focus on where most likely candidates will succeed. The challenge comes from very high failure rates at, at phase one and particularly phase two. In this process, protein A resins are usually regarded as the highest consumable raw material, but the resins don't really fit the purpose. The current leading protein A affinity resin out there, uh, provided by GE, is designed to be used for 100 cycles or more, but typically resins in phase one and two of clinical trials are used less than 20 times. At Purolite, we have developed a protein A resin with this specifically in mind, a resin that is actually designed on actual use, which leads to a large reduction in cost. So the use of purposely designed resins based upon their clinical stage is a novel approach from Pure Art Life Science, which addresses the needs of today's challenges in biological clinical trials. And in fact, we've developed a whole library of protein A resins. Importantly to remember, they are all based on the same high flow agro space matrix. So first we have Presto AC, which is our clinical resin. This uses a recombinant protein A ligand based upon the native protein A sequence. And then we have protein APC, which uses an alkaline tolerant, chemically modified protein A ligand. This is a high capacity, similar to the GE Mab Select Sure, which is one of the market leaders in protein A resin. Finally, we have Presto AP, our production phase protein A resin. This has the same ligand as APC, but has a higher capacity, similar to that of Mab Select Sure LX. So taking a closer look at our clinical phase uh, protein A resin, Presto AC, we have developed here a cost-effective protein A resin affinity, a protein A affinity resin designed specifically for early phase clinical trials. But designing a resin based upon its true use in the clinical phase, we've been able to achieve process excellence along with balanced, balanced cost economics. The specifications are similar to products currently on the market. It has a similar capacity to Mab Select Sure binding more than 40 grams per litre at a 4.8 minute residence time. It's a high flow agros with excellent pressure flow characteristics. But we've listened to the customers who say that during these early phase clinical trials, they don't use the resin for much 
more than maybe 12 cycles. So why pay more for a resin that is capable of lasting for over 100 cycles? Uh, so just to reiterate, by limiting our development costs to the re use of the resin, we've been able to pass on cost savings to our end users. If you're lucky enough to make it past phase two and onto phase three, your needs change. At this point, your risk is lowered as failure rates drop to 30%. Demand for monoclonal antibody has increased from phase two due to an increased patient pool size, typically 10 times higher. You'll also find yourself with more investment as confidence in the product is increasing. With this in mind, we've produced a production phase resin designed to match your, your needs in phase three. So let me introduce you to Presto AP. AP has the same high flow agro space matrix as AC, but it's a caustic stable protein ligand. Jumped ahead there. It's an excellent capacity equivalent to that of Mab's Lecture LX, with over 60 grams per litre binding at an eight minute resonance time. Alongside the high capacity, it also has very good pressure flow characteristics. So coupled with this long lifetime and also long leakage, uh, low leakage, excuse me, Presto AP is an excellent choice for phase three and commercial production. Um, our latest clinical product is Presto APC. Again, it is designed for early phase clinical trials, but it has the same caustic stable ligands as AP. Now, you may be asking why this is relevant, as I've already told you that a caustic stable ligand isn't that important in early stage clinical trials. But we have listened to one of the concerns from some of our customers who may not want to go through their clinical journey switching between different protein A's. So we've designed a resin identical to the production um, Presto AP, but with less protein loaded onto the base matrix. Um, and therefore, APC will allow customers to switch between phase two and phase three. But with less protein loading, we're able to keep our costs down and again, pass this cost efficiency onto the customer. Um, AP has excellent caustic stability, allowing exposure to 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide for over 100 hours. It shows equivalent lifetime versus the leading market products. Shown here, Mab Select Shore and Mab Select Shore LX. Uh, in addition, the Presto Affinity resins show extremely low leakage of protein A, as tested by the Replogen Protein A ELISA kit, which is the industry standard. And when compared to the leading market products from G, there was very different in leakage in the, pro in the products over multiple cycles. Uh, the data I've showed you today, uh, at, up until now has been, done, has been generated using uh, recombinant polyclonal human IgG. Here we have some actual real feed data with a monoclonal antibody biosimilar kindly donated by a customer. The graph on the left shows data obtained in-house in our clantricent site in Wales and shows, encouragingly shows good binding capacities across the range of Presto affinity resins compared with the market leading LX and Shore, seen in gray and orange. The chart on the right shows customers shows customer supply data with the same monoclonal antibody feed, which compares LX to Presto AP. What is encouraging to see is even at low residence times, LX and AP have very similar capacities, proving more confidence that Presto AP can be used in place of Mab Select Shore LX. Earlier this year, Pure Life Sciences commissioned a study with the Center for Process Innovation, CPI, based in the north of England, to perform an evaluation study of, of Purolite's Presto resins. Uh, using, using the perkin elmer analytical assays um, in its performance of the evaluation. The aim being to provide data to show to you that resins can be switched in and out of process design without any detrimental effects. Um, just a quick little plug, if you'd like to know more about our switching strategy, you might like to consider registering for our webinar taking place on December the 7th. So the summary of this um, study um, showed the study was uh, used 20 cycles loading 40 grams per litre at each cycle under identical process conditions with each resin. And the, the results were very encouraging, showing that across all three of the Presto Protein A resins, there was a consistent yield, a constant yield. There was no significant change in protein purification performance. 
and there is very low and similar protein A leakage. Above all, this data really does provide confidence that customers can consider switching between different protein A resins at various stages in their clinical trials and during production to reduce risk and lower cost. So let's look at some figures and see how much you can actually save during phase one and phase two when comparing Presto AC and GE Mab Select Shore using pre-packed columns. If we assume a 1,000 litre bioreactor producing three kilograms of material, um, the column on the left uses Presto, Presto AC uh, proce process ready 20 column. Now, we've put, I've covered this in there because it shows you actually it has a processing time of 19 hours, which is really quite a long time, and it's definitely much longer than one shift in a, in a, in a plant. So it's perhaps not an ideal resin. However, if you look at the process ready 30 column, Presto AC, and then you compare that with Mab Select Shaw, uh, 10 litre RTP column. Um, yes, we have a bit more resin with the, uh, with the Presto AP compared to Mab Select Shaw. However, if you compare the, the two columns, there are less number of cycles used in Presto AC. Uh, it has a shorter process in time, and all in total, you can save up to $100,000 per run. And I'm sure we could all think of something very useful to do with all that money. In fact, you could probably do a whole other uh, purification run. And looking at phase three, comparing Presto AP against Mab Select Shore, pre -pack, uh, Mab Select Shore LX pre pack columns, you can make a 50% saving. And when you t if you took into account typically 14 campaigns a year, this 50% saving could be the equivalent of one whole clinical trial. So to, in just in summary, Presto Protein A products offer high capacity, the same or even better to lead in market players. But better than that, they are cost efficient. The resins are designed specifically to match clinical phasing. They are available in pre-packed formats, which offer excellent pressure flow capacities, and importantly, they are caustic stable and have low leakage. I've talked to you mainly about the Protein A resins today, but I just wanted to touch upon the, the other Presto products we have that you could use in your platform, which are iron exchange resins. We currently have um, the cation and anion and actually underivitized agros beads available in three different particle size, depending on your pressure flow, time, and selectivity needs. They have chemistries that are well-defined, familiar, and understood. And as a result, our anion and, and cation um, beads operate within a window specifically designed in your process. We've designed our resins with both high capacity and good resolution without dextrin ligands, which then provides superior chemical stability um, and they're highly stable to caustic washing. So it's all good and well me telling you about these new resins that we have in the market, but you could be saying, well, show us some investments. So we are, we're building a plant in Hantrescent in Wales. We have spent a, a lot of money on state-of-the-art R&D facilities and a pilot plant extension. And in Q1 or Q2 of next year, we will be opening on our manufacturing plants. This manufacturing plant of Agro's will be capable of, uh, of producing up to 30% of the world's Agro's resins. It's purpose-built using the latest technology. So I hope I can uh, prove to you that alongside our investments our expertise, we have confidence and security in pure art life sciences. We are ISO credited, applying good manufacturing practices. We have regulatory support available, uh, files available upon request. We have excellent batch to batch variation of our uh, Presto products. We are a UK manufacturing site and we have uh, supply agreements in process with uh, Protein A supply. So going forward, as well as the, the investments we have in the facilities, we're also, we're also very innovative. There we go. So just as the last slide, um, uh, we, we have a superior knowledge on jetting, which is a, a very 
forward-thinking way of uh, producing mono-sized mono, mono beads. So just a very quick look at these two graphs. We have a graph on the top, which is jetted beads, and the graph at the bottom, which is just the typically uh, manufactured Sephiroth beads. And I think even without knowing too much about the different graphs, you can see that the graph on the top looks like a much nicer distribution of particle size. So this is a technology that we're taking forward and investing in at the moment in order to produce these mono-sized mono beads in agarose resins. So I hope I have demonstrated to you today that pure light life sciences, we can identify the problems our customers face and work with them to bring novel solutions to the marketplace. We have done this very successfully with the Presto Protein A agarose beads, and we look forward to doing business in the future based on our success in the last 35 years. If you have any more questions, please do come and visit us at stand 6H11, where we share a stand with Midas. Thank you very much.